Other local governments are also focusing on measures to reverse population declines. In Shizuoka Prefecture, the birth rate dipped to 1.37 at one point, but has climbed back to 1.53. The local government is aiming to boost that figure to 2.0, the highest in the country, by fiscal 2017. To reach 2.0, it's important to offer continuous support in areas such as matchmaking, pregnancy, childbirth, and raising children. By setting a high goal, we'll become motivated to support child rearing families as a community. The prefectural government has even created a brochure introducing auspicious locations for love, marriage, and pregnancy to encourage couples to tie the knot. What's more, they've established a so-called corporate birth rate and are supporting companies that accommodate employees who are parents. We felt that companies with a high birth rate must be very accommodating to employees with children. The corporate birth rate is a way to measure the degree to which companies are parent-friendly. One company featured in that pamphlet is based in Fuji City. Muramatsu Electric, which has 47 employees, their corporate birth rate is 1.9. On this day, an employee in charge of accounting leaves her seat during the lunch break. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Take care. I apologize. It's Parents' Day at my son's school today. She heads to the elementary school her son attends. Ms. Ohashi has left work to take part in Parents' Day. What? You forgot? You must be kidding. Seriously? Her son Akatsuki has forgotten his textbook on this day of all days, but he somehow makes it through the lesson. I'm glad I was able to see the not so fun and the fun things he's doing at school. Afterwards, Ms. Ohashi returns to the office. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. On this day, she was allowed to take two hours off and return to work. Three years ago, this company implemented a system in which paid leave can be taken in two-hour segments, as well as offering 15 more days of parenting leave than the official allowance. We hired a lot of administrative staff over the years, but they'd all get married, have kids, and quit. When they leave, we have to hire someone new and start the training process all over again. It's Parents' Day on July 4th. I didn't hear about that. I want to take some time off from the afternoon. Sure, go ahead. Since introducing this system, the company says no women employees have quit. While some local governments are winning the population battle, the birth rate nationally has been falling every year. One reason is said to be the growing number of people who choose not to get married. This naturally leads to fewer children. In Japan, the number of marriages is falling. That means even if there are policies for families, they won't be effective. One local government is focusing on helping people get married. Eight years ago, Ibaraki Prefecture set up a dating support center. Over 1,200 couples have tied the knot through this initiative. Recently, we've seen about 14 couples getting married on average every month. It's not a small number by any measure. Registration costs about $100 for three years. There is no limit on the number of arranged meetings with potential partners. Members input information about themselves and the type of person they're looking for, and search for potential partners using a tablet device. If requirements such as age, residence, income, and occupation match, the staff arrange a meeting where they can talk one-on-one -on -one for 30 minutes. 
Through this service, one couple got married this year. The Suzuki's, who had their wedding last month. The husband is a teacher and the wife works at a newspaper. Both have busy work schedules and say they had few opportunities to meet a potential partner. Regardless of how we met, the fact that we got married was a good thing for both of us. The low fee and credibility of the service helped to grow membership, which has exceeded 3,300. Data we've collected shows that a big reason why people don't get married is because there are fewer opportunities to meet a potential partner. So providing that space is meaningful. The question now is how to expand these local successes across the country. A national policy to combat the falling birth rate may soon take shape.